Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you can hear me. I am driving and it's kind of loud, it sounds like. Um, but I just wanted to say that as of late, recently, probably within the last month or so, I've been having people around me that are not like in my YouTube community, that kind of thing, but just people telling me that they're getting prepared at home, that they're doing stuff to get ready for what is coming. These are just people I work with, um, just randomly talking, you know, around lunch table, that kind of thing, saying, I'm getting chickens. I'm putting food back. I filled my freezer. I have my water filtration system ready. Just things like that. And, you know, when you start hearing it from other people in your life, and you realize people know people are starting to catch on to what's coming that's good and it makes me happy and I just kind of like nod my head smile I'm happy for them but think about this if you have not started preparing and all these other average people are starting to hop on the train and start prepping what do you think that's gonna do to the supply chain what do you think that's going to do to uh, your ability to go to the camping section and grab some mountain house meals or to grab some fire starter or camp stoves, that kind of thing, Coleman propane? It's going to severely start to dwindle down those supplies when the average person starts to catch on to prepping. So... If you are not taking this very seriously and getting all the things that you need as fast as you can possibly accumulate them, then you may miss the boat. Or it may get to the point where you just can't find the things that you need. Those things that you were going to get one day, you know, later, someday, I'm going to get that thing that I need. Those things that you're putting off. When everybody else catches on and starts realizing how bad things actually are or are going to get, the shelves will be even emptier. We think that we've seen shortages, we think that we've seen empty shelves, but just wait until the economic collapse becomes very evident to people and to people's 401ks and to people's gas tanks. Just wait because we will see the supply chain disruption of our lives. And you don't want to be the one who put it off and said, well, I have time. I have time. I have till 2030. You know, I'm going to, I'm going to get there slowly, but surely. And I do believe it's slowly, but surely, but light a fire under your butt right now. Do it. Do the things before everyone else starts doing the things. And then you are left in the dust. That's all I have to say for today, and you guys have a good one. Bye.